Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and today we will be studying SCP-5371. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item Number SCP-5371 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-5371 is to be contained in a medium-sized item locker in Site-19. Video surveillance has been installed inside the item locker to detect any previously unseen behavior. Investigations into its origins are forbidden. Description SCP-5371 is a two-meter-tall sculpture of a decayed humanoid, wrapped in draperies and holding a shield in its left hand. On this shield reads the Latin phrase, Vincit qui se vincit. Translation, he conquers who conquers himself. The right arm of SCP-5371 appears to have once held something which has since broken off. Several joints are present inside its arms, although no way of activating them has been uncovered. SCP-5371 instills a strong feeling of disgust upon viewing its face, which immediately subsides once breaking visual contact. Once completely out of line of sight, SCP-5371 will move as far from all subjects as possible, turning to face away from them. If possible exits are obstructed, it will instead slowly move its jaw in a presumed state of distress. Although the remainder of SCP-5371 is in relatively pristine condition, its neck vertebrae show signs of hairline fractures, which have since healed. Discovery SCP-5371 was discovered after a fire destroyed the subterranean levels of Site-18 on July 31, 1994. Upon surveying the damages, a previously unknown floor of the site was discovered underneath, entirely sealed off from the rest of the facility. The level consists of a long, expansive room. A metal placard on the floor's main entrance was melted beyond recognition in the fire. A circle split into three sections is inscribed in the center of the room. Each section is labeled with an inscription. Scientific, Ritualistic, and Artistic, with the latter section being dyed red. Tall blocks of stone are lined in rows on each side of this level, which move places between re-entries. No efforts to move these blocks otherwise have been successful. Crushed and desiccated human extremities protrude from underneath these blocks. These extremities can be observed occasionally twitching. SCP-5371 was found at the very end of the level, facing the wall. Upon relocation, the following document was found affixed to the bottom of its base. Transcript Creator Information the sculpture described through this infernal complexion is its own creation, withered into form by itself. One once taunted, the, the things which you mold, mold out of empty hubris spit in the decadent, decadent eyes of the seraph, seraph, at which this sculpture spat back. One once was right, thus the Icarus ascended onwards. A note of caution, the chisel persists in its vacancy. The hearts of this sculpture's earthly faults pump to the beat of its chipping. It shall remain vacant to prevent further hearts from beating. This sculpture, its likeness, its blood, its sin, its pain, its regret, its scorn, are not released and should not be released. It shall be left to wander its own rock, its stockades carved from sediment marrow. Those once held dear to this sculpture now lie cold as its stone. Worms weave throughout their melted visages. This sculpture required blood. It gathered such blood. Fed such blood. Gave such blood. Loved such blood. A fool this sculpture was, graciously delivering its own eternal torment, the only just action this sculpture imposed upon the world. Do not love it. It had its chance. Do not praise it. Such cries are long dormant. Do not free it. The chisel will merely halt more veins, all to pump more blood. There is no exception.